Okay, hi everyone. We're gonna record another one. This one is one that I've been meaning to make for a minute now, but both times I recorded it prior, it just like, the first time I recorded it, I was doing really well, but then it cut off because my battery died. And then the second time I recorded it, I didn't like the way I was like articulating myself. So here we are. Uh, let's talk about angel numbers, okay? And what are angel numbers from my point of view and what they might mean, okay? Um, all of this is clearly speculative. speculative. I don't have like a freaking, um, I don't have like a universal handbook, guys. It might seem like that. I think maybe sometimes my friend, <laughs> my friends think I have the universal handbook and I have to remind them, no, I don't. I appreciate when they tell me that I'm really helpful or I offer helpful advice. Like it does mean a lot to me, but babes, I'm still trying to figure it out all too. So the point to that is angel numbers. Here's the, here's the way I view it, okay? So why am I even talking about angel numbers? A lot of my friends, coworkers, people who find out I'm spiritual, okay? Anyone, once they find out I'm spiritual, even it could be at a party and the drunk girl's talking to me. They will ask me, like, what are angel numbers? Or like, oh my God, I keep seeing 444. Oh my God, I keep seeing 1111. Like, what does it mean? La, 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 right? And they'll do this like with every single fucking angel number they see. And that's not bad, okay? I'm not judging anyone. Because there are some times, guys, where I'm so, it's like the universe is fucking screaming at me, okay? The universe is just like, <sighs> like, just like screaming at me so loud. And I'm seeing them all the time. So I get it. It can be, sometimes the universe is literally inundating you to just like really let you know, okay? Um, but people start asking me, right? Like, what do these angel numbers mean? Well, the first thing I think you have to be mindful of, especially on the YouTube space, on the TikTok space, on the digital space, and also just like marketing and advertising is a lot of brands and a lot of influencers, people, they now know that angel numbers are a thing. And so they use it as like a marketing tactic. Like for example, my, me personally, this is my tea. I can always peep when that shit is like artificial in the sense of like, I'll like be watching like, or I'll be like scrolling through my feed, right? And the video's thumbnail has like 777, this message was meant for you. Bitch, no, it didn't. You just put that. <laughs> and so I just kind of like, there's certain ones that I water, like water off a deck's back if I feel like it's inauthentic. That might be hard for some of you guys to suss out in the beginning. So I say don't necessarily worry about that. But I, what I'm just saying you guys to know or like kind of like ranting about is a lot of people will, it's the same way people use like tarot cards for like love readings and shit and like, like twin flame toxic shit like that. It's the same way. Like people have taken what is supposed to be a sacred spiritual tool and have like monopolized it or commercialized it. So just beware of that. But yeah, I think sometimes people will read too much into them in the sense of like, maybe that says 777, this message is for you because they just wanted more views. Same thing with like tarot readings and shit on TikTok. So that's my first, like just beware. With that being said, I do believe like angel numbers are used by the universe to communicate something to you. Now, here's where it gets a little dicey for me. Um, I do think you can read up into them specifically, but I think you have to be careful with like what meanings you're assigning to them. Because like, for example, if you look up like, I don't know, like two, four, seven, uh, spiritual meaning, there might be a good, like a good explanation for it. Uh, there might be something that resonates for, with you, but there also might be a bunch of other shit on there that you like completely don't resonate with at all. And you're like, what the fuck is this? So that's, it's the same with any spiritual content nowadays. You got to see for yourself, is this true and not take everything at face value. So that's the first thing. Um, the way I read into them, the way I approach them is like, for example, I go with basic numerology meanings, especially for the repeating ones, like the three repeating ones. Like 111, 222, 333, 444, 555, 666, 777, 888, 999. Those numbers, the way I take them when I see those repeating is I take their numeral numerological meanings. So like 111, I take that as a sign that I'm doing good on my own. Spirit's telling me to start something or to just keep up confidence within myself. 222, maybe spend some time with a loved one, some sort of loved one. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be friends, uh, your parents, whatever. 333, three, three. okay, creative time. Time to, to start working on a like a creative project of some sorts. 
444. Uh, four, four. uh, maybe it's stability time. You need to like fucking clean the house or some shit. 555, five, five, change is coming. 666, six, six, people think the devil. No. 666 six, six is harmony. 777, seven, seven, spiritual growth. More incubation time for me. Decision time. 888, eight, eight, lots of money. 999, nine, nine, letting go. So those are just some basic little like meanings for you. But, um, why do we see these angel numbers? Let's also talk why do we see these angel numbers. And also know that the, the meanings I gave you might not be true for you, but that's just the way I see them. What I'm saying in essence is don't read into them too much, but be encouraged by them as a general sign of the universe. And why do I say that? Is because I think, first of all, when people start seeing those, those like general ones, like 1111 or like 444, right? I think that is just generally that they have like gotten to a new sort of like level almost like, yeah, it's kind of a level up. And so you start noticing those things. You start noticing the signs around you in the universe. And so I think it's like the universe saying, hey, good job. You're going to start noticing some shit, especially when it's like 1111, 444, 222, right? So I see it as the universe saying, okay, girl, new level unlocked. Like we're on a different plane. Like, you know, that shit is just beyond what it seems. Okay. So that's when I start to notice people asking me about angel numbers. Um, that being said, it could just be some bitch fun in and off TikTok, which, hey, that has its own place too, right? So, um, yeah, I wanted to say that. What I wanted to say, the way I see them, like I said, is more of a general encouragement from the universe. It's not really telling me anything specific. Now, like, sometimes I will read into them if I feel like I need to or, like, it's just, like, right in my face. But usually when I see them, especially when I'm seeing a lot of it at once, like an inundated, it's like the universe telling me, go on, girl, like keep going. It's like a pat on the back from the universe. Now, you can also have specific angel numbers. Like, for example, let me tell you guys a story of mine and then I'll let you guys go because I honestly don't even know how much like storage I have left, but or not storage battery. But um, one of my personal ones is 9-11, which I think is so strange. But um the story about this is I had learned about numerology. I had learned that I was a life path nine, right? And then I had not really dabbled into it much. Like I had just learned about like my basic like numerology number. I didn't even know what the fucking expression number was. Then I went to Santa Barbara where my friends Blake and Minbella lived. And I was with uh, Blake for the day and he was telling me about how he went back to Wyoming. And when he went back to Wyoming, basically his mom, her sister, so his aunt, is really into numerology, right? And so, like, gave him a whole reading and everything. So then uh, Blake was telling me about, like, this expression number thing. And in between the time that I had learned my numerology, like, that I was a nine. And that was just in the back of my head. Like, I hadn't even really gone that deep into it. I had start, just started seeing 9-11. 9-11. 9-11. a.m. p.m. on license plates. Every fucking thing. 9-11. And I had never seen that up until that point. So I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, I know it has to mean something, but like, I really don't know what. And then when Blake was inspiring me to look more into numerology, learned out I was an expression number 11. So like two of the most important, like numerology numbers, nine and 11. I'm a life path nine, expression number 11. And I swear to you guys, so specific to me, I always see 911, 911 on the clock, guys. So for me, when I see that, I especially know, like I especially know that I'm like on the right path. Like I'm doing me because that is me. Like that number is me. So when I see it reflected, it's like, boom, you know? So yeah, that is what I wanted to say about angel numbers. You're, you might have your own personal ones. I might take you, but I know like one of my friends, Aaron, like he has 746 as one of his numbers, which again, it's just such a random and specific number to him, which I think we all have. It's just like, might take a bit to figure out what or if, if you have a specific one but um don't force anything and yeah take of angel numbers just on animal one that's so funny um take of angel numbers what you will and i hope this helps you in some sort of way don't believe in the hype <laughs> in general y'all like don't believe the hype question shit and see what works for you okay that's my take on angel numbers. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.